new fish unboxing day. Yes, we are under quarantine here, um, but you can still get deliveries, food deliveries, you know, packages, all that stuff still comes through. Yes, I did Lysol it outside uh, just to be safe. Can't hurt, right? Anyway, these fish, um, this is a breeding group. I've had one of the fish before, like one single solitary, one of these fish many years ago, never had a breeding group. Uh, so let's open these up and take a look at them. Got the boxes open. I uh, haven't looked at the fish yet. just didn't want to fumble around on camera. Like usual with my unboxings, I'm not going to put these in the 300. Uh, just floating them in the 300. And the reason for that is that the lighting is significantly better in here than in my quarantine tank area. So we'll float them in here so you guys can see them a bit better. And then later in this video, um, I'll show them in the quarantine tank that they'll be going into. So first, I do have one single fish that I got just to add to an existing group. And that is another wild female, Buchochromus leptuaris green. And just like that, I accidentally deleted the rest of the unboxing video. Taking the fish out of the boxes, out of the bags, deleted it all. Anyway, uh, we can still go take a look at the fish. Let's go check them out. Here are the new fish. Uh, these are four to five inch, two male, six female, OB borlei. Uh, something very different from what I normally keep or breed. Um, many of you know I've been breeding and keeping the predator haps for a long, long time now, is in, you know, 10 plus years. And um, on occasion, I just feel the need to kind of get out of my comfort zone, uh, keep fish, breed fish that I don't normally have, just to kind of keep it, you know, keep it interesting. And I'm really enjoying these so far. You can see the, the two males pretty easily. Uh, in person, it's easier, but you can see there's a male right there, extra bright colors, and there's the second male. The rest are obviously all females. Um, they're in the 75 right now. They're not going to stay in here for all that long, even though I do have to admit that at this size, they could stay in here for a few months and do just fine. It might actually put out some uh, good breeding in confined quarters like these, but I do plan to move these into a 125. Uh, these are from Butch at Southeast Cichlids. Um, really happy with them like I am with you know all the fish that I get from them. Thank you.